Atamari, everybody. It's wonderful to be here for another real talk. And I do have Anne Thorpe here, and she is on audio this morning because the video up in Parkery just wasn't connecting to us, but that's all good. We're here. So, Morena, Morena, Anne. Morena. Morena. So, everyone can hear you, Anne. They just can't see you today. So, where are you in the world? And where are you in the world? Tell everyone where you are in the world. Well, I'm in Parkery, uh, at Parkery Beach, where I have a, a home. Um, I've been self-isolating up here the whole time of the lockdown. I didn't realise that you couldn't move from one place to the other. Like I couldn't believe that I could not go home to Auckland. But it's been absolutely fantastic because it's made me stop and think mm. and just be myself and I did have not had to worry about anybody else but myself. I mean usually I have I come up here with scores of people um, who I'm a nasty, I cook for, I love doing that. Um, I share what I have with them and um, we have a wonderful time. But for the six weeks that we were on lockdown I was here solely by myself. But it's funny, I thought it was as though I found myself up here mm -hmm. because I had no one else and nothing else to worry about but myself. Oh. It was pretty unusual. Wow. Hey, so Anne, thank you for joining us this morning and it's wonderful that you can still join us, you know, although by audio, um, you can still be part of this real talk. And that's what it's about. It's about really understanding, you know, how we as wahine and women uh, on lock in lockdown, how we've coped during this time. So just a couple of things um, for those who are just joining us. I want to check sound. So if you can write in the comments, I see Hanemore's online, just to make sure that people can hear you. So Hanemore's just doing a sound check for everyone, and she's going to write in the comments if we are all good so everyone gets to hear you, Anne. Is that okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't know who everyone is, but, yeah, <laughs> that's <pretty> cool. <laughs> hey, Anne, it's called the the World Wide Internet, and apparently, you know, this is the way to go. This is how we're going to connect in the future. So we're just checking sound, and we've got a couple of people just writing a few comments here. So there's a lady called Margaret Henry. She's joining you. I don't know if you know her. Um, and a couple of more people are joining as well. So thank you, thank you, Henny Moore, for checking our sound. Um, and to you, Anne, for really coming and sharing what lockdown life has been like. So let's just start with where, you know, where do you where do you come from in terms of your whakapapa and your iwi as a beautiful Māori wahine? Well, uh, ko putu waki te maunga, um, ko mata tu te waka, Ko Ngāti Awa me Ngāi Te Rangi Te Iwi. Ko Toro Te Tangata, ko Wairaka Te Marae, ko Anthel Aho. So, I'm from the Bay of Plenty, I'm Whakatāne. Aye, aye. And so, what brought you up to, what got you into the profession that you find yourself in, which is being a, you know, a food personality, having your own TV show, being an author, what, what brought you there? Well, um, uh, funny thing, I was nine years old when I went home and said to my family, I wanted to become the cook of the family because I had, um, at home economics, at Upanui Primary School, I made a apple sponge mm -hmm. under the tutelage, tutelage of a magnificent woman called Betty Cuthbert. And it was the most wonderful um, delicious thing I've ever had in my life because up until then I had lots of pots. Mm -hmm. I mean, as in the pot, the, the boil up, um, um, cheap um, cuttings of meat. We did have steak as well, and um, and we also had thing lots of kaimana, but we didn't have crayfish, um, so to speak. We had the crayfish bodies. Um, we had the um, um, snapper frames and snapper heads as a kid and that's all I really knew was the offcuts 
of things, but still um, they were very, very nutritious and, of course, very, very healthy to eat. So I didn't see a, a crayfish tail till I was um, an adult, really. Wow. Um, we could never afford that sort of thing as a child, and I'm, you know, still the same way today, I know, for many families. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I went home, announced to the family that I was wanting to be the cook of the family, which they were quite happy to pass that um, on to me as well. I was also, you know, the cleaner, the dishwasher, the, the baby looker after, the nappy changer, the whole works. I was, there, I, was the, I was the second mother because my mother was always working. Once she popped out a baby, she there was the baby. Oh, that was my baby, and off she went to work. So um, it was like that for many... I mean, that many Māori families in those days, and I'm, I'm sure it still happens today. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 you know, you've had a great career, um, writing books, doing TV shows, you know, the amazing Kai Order show. Going into lockdown, what's, what's been the, I suppose, what's been your biggest blessing of going into lockdown? Well, I think the biggest blessing is that I've actually stopped and been me. I've only had me to concentrate on. Normally when I come to Parkity, I've got a, um, a swing of mates that come with me. They're all very much like me too, and we all get on together. We do things together. We cook together and laugh and, you know, have fun together. But this time I was standing in my, in my, uh, in my house, and I was the only one here. And I thought, my God, I've got nothing else to do but, um, think about what I can do and I thought well maybe I could inspire people by with my cooking um, cooking dishes simple um, dishes that um, anybody um, can do I focused heavily on getting the mussels from the rocks and the tuatua out of the sea um, I've tried to use everything um, that's in one's pātaka like um, vegetables that you would have, everyday vegetables, nothing fancy, nothing exotic. And um, <clears throat> that's what I've been doing the whole time I've been here. And also sharing um, what I do have, and that's this magnificent visuals um, that I've been so blessed to, blessed to um, have. And um, I, you know, I love sharing my things, and um, it's been a pleasure and honour to share it with everybody. That's on my page, on my Facebook page, on my Instagram page. I mean, I'm not, I don't do it to show off or anything. I do it to share. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, I think I've been doing it um, hard out lately because we've actually got some land for sale up here, mm -hmm. and it's it's the same aspect as what my home has. So if anybody's interested out there, um, they can see what they could have. Yes. I mean, they too can have the same thing. And it's funny, the actual land for sale, I, I prefer it myself because it's a little bit closer to the sea. You see the waves breaking on the um, shoreline. Um, it's more in touch with the earth. That's what I feel, yes. although... Um, my own home is, is, is beautiful. Yes, yes. So your sharing of Kai, your sharing of your visuals, your photos, is that part of your way of contributing back to, to you know, I suppose, New Zealand and what we're going through at the moment through COVID? Well, I'm trying to, well, I think I, what, I, what it was after I realised that I wanted to uplift people, uplift their spirits, um, I wanted to um, inspire people that everything's okay, that you can do things, that you can work through this. We can. Uh, all very well me saying this from my position here. Um, yeah, I grew up um, poor in, in, in Whakatane, one of eight children, and life was tough. But, you know, you're all part of your own, you, you create your own destiny, really. And um, I've been with my husband for nearly 40 years. That's something that people don't know mm. about me. And um, he's facilitated or allowed me to be me. And, um, and I've grown exponentially because of his generosity as a husband to let me be me mm. and grow. Yeah, beautiful. Kia ora, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, so some of the things that you've been sharing, you know, in our quarter or that you've had is around your, I suppose, your your difference in mindset. Now that you've had your time by yourself for about eight weeks now, yes, share share, share what that's about for you. Well, I, you know, I mean, I, I've just been able to wake up and smell the roses. Um, I know it may sound silly, but, you know, I mean, I'd race up here and I'd, uh, I'd always leave my place looking like a resort because I want to walk back and think, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Then I start busting it up. And then I have people come and stay at the same time with me. So it's all a rush, 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 rush. I was all a rush to get the windows open and the bands going and the, and the sunshine and the and everything beautiful and um and and to share with my mates and Fano um what I had. Um well of course finding myself up here on my own, I mean I've just been opening the windows and doors and there's only been me. So I've had the opportunity to just uh care for myself, think about my own self. And in fact I've slowed down heaps. You know, it's like a rush in my head that I've always had. And now I have a calming, uh, you know, I have a calming about me, I guess. It's allowed me to slow down in my head anyway. Yes, yes. <laughs> and in fact, when I went back to town after, when, when it became lockdown too to do self-maintenance, um, I couldn't wait to get back up here. And I'm, I'm back up here on my own again. And I love it. I just love it. I just love um I just love being um, able to think for myself and just do for myself at the moment and also to do what I want to do and that's, you know, cook something every day and share with everybody every day. Uh, there's been a few lapses lately um, because, um, you know, rushing down to Auckland and that, having my birthday in town um, where you could only have 10 packs anyway, but... Um, yeah, no, it's. I can't really um, complain about my situation. I'm. I'm a lucky woman. I know you are a lucky woman, Annie. We're lucky women. We're lucky people to hear your, I suppose your, yeah, your journey over the lockdown. Because I think we've learned through having these real talks that there's lots of people doing lots of really amazing things during lockdown, and it's all about manaki. And I know that's one of the things that. Um, when I think of that word, I think of you. So, yeah. Well, I've been reconnecting with a lot of people that I haven't had time to reconnect with because I'm always busy. Mm. And now I have got the time to actually stop, have a conversation, you know, over the, over the phone or Zooms or um, even with my own whanau, uh, we Zoom hui every um, weekend now. And it's wonderful, actually. We, we all enjoy it and it's... Rather than not having that, we all sort of think, oh, she's like that, that, that sister's like that, and that brother's like that. We all have a giggle to ourselves and amongst ourselves. But um, now we, we, when we look at each other, we have a, we have a jolly good laugh <laughs> and laugh our heads off together yeah. and um, share our little stories. And, and in fact, we've, um, we've grown from that as a whānau. Um, we, we love each other more. Um, whereas before we may not have been loving each other at all or, you know, some less than others. And now I have this um, big love for every single member of my whānau. Oh, I love, I love that, Annie. Hey, <laughs> hey, there's um, Kushla's on here and she said, Morena, thoroughly enjoying your shows and thank you, Anne. I have loved your one-handed <laughs> filming and <laughs> And cooking of your daily meals. Meals for one is are sometimes hard, she said. Sometimes cannot be bothered cooking, but love the motivation and love sharing that you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I love sharing. I'm a sharer. I always have been a sharer. Yeah, and you are a sharer. Manaki. Um, you've got Lucy Hills here. She's saying, Morena, Jan Basil's here. She's always tuning in. Morena, Jan. And Rosemary Murray, she's saying, Kapai. So, you know, you've got, we know that you've got a fan base, uh, Annie. 
And today is really about, you know, sharing some of that in a different way outside of your cooking and sharing a little bit more about you. Well, just ask me whatever you like. I'm sure I'll be straight up with you, um, Ray. Yes. Uh, you yes. know, I've, I have nothing to hide. I've only got things to share. Yeah. So, Annie, you've, you've travelled the world. Um, obviously, we're in lockdown now. What, what are you going to miss about travelling the world and, and, you know, all those food adventures that you used to go on? Well, you know, you're always grateful for what you've had, what you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, even though we won't be travelling for maybe a couple of years or more or so, um, I just reflect on, on what I have, where I have been and what I have done and how lucky I have been to go to different countries and experience their foods and experience their culture and just have wonderful experiences. And um, that's enough for me for the moment. Yeah. Uh, you know, just and, and, and just focus on the now and... Um, just keep being a better person. Yeah, exactly. And and so, you know, you've got a big group of friends. I know many of your friends. And how, how have you stayed connected to everyone while you're up in Parkity? I know you couldn't have anyone physically there, but what else have you do, done to stay connected? Oh, well, there's always the telephono. <laughs> um, the telephono and message and messages and 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 things. Um, you know, I've been, I haven't been alone completely because they're always there. And if I needed anybody, if I needed to call on any one of them, I know that they will be there for me immediately. Yeah. And, and also, at the end of the day, I have this most wonderful husband. And 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 in saying that, Annie, how, how important if we're talking to our wahine out there, how important is it to have a wonderful partner? Oh, if I didn't have a wonderful partner, I don't think I'd have a. You know, my head would be all over the show. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll be. I wouldn't know. I don't know. It's not that I don't say. I know I wouldn't be able to give mm -hmm. and share like I do. Mm -hmm. If, if my partner or my husband wasn't like he was. I mean, he's always encouraged me to be myself. He's never prevented me from being myself. <laughs> and um, because of that, I've grown. <laughs> and um, and he loves he loves sharing himself. He's a share, a big sharer too. <laughs> so um, we share our things and and people and and lots of love and and um, yeah. No, my friends are full of aroha. And uh, they can't do enough. We can't do enough for each other, one another, actually. Yes. You know, I mean, you, you, you go through life and you choose people and you have these people that's, that that you love, that, that you think, hey, you're a good person. I I really like you. Um, I'm a good character, a judge of character, and I've had a lot of my friends from, um, well, some are 50 years old, believe it 50 years old, 40 years old, 30 years old, 20 years old. And um, I think that probably about 15 years is the, you know, even even as, um, are people who are in my life. Yes. But once you're a friend of mine, you're always a friend of mine. I feel very grateful to be a friend of yours, Annie. And, <laughs> and you we, are a friend of mine, darling. And we have a shout-out to do to our, you know, um, your Fanonga, I suppose, Hector. And Hector, yes, he is my Fanonga. Yes. Hector Palmer from Matakana Island. Hector Palmer from Matakana Island. Thank you for introducing me to Annie those many years ago. Um, and we've grown our friendship. I have been to Pakari. I can say it is exactly like it is in the photos, um, <laughs> which is stunning. But, you know, what I really love about your mahi um, that you've been doing and the work you've been doing on yourself, Annie, over the whole of COVID is I, when I speak to you now, I hear a, a different voice. And I said that to you, didn't I? Yes, I think it's, the, um, it's because I've slowed down. I've slowed down in my head. I'm not, I'm not you know, there's, no one, there's nothing pressing me. I mean, even doing these cooking things every day, I wouldn't have been able to do that if there was someone here with me because I would be always wanting to manaki them. They are so used to me manakiing that they'll be thinking, what the, how is she doing? Um, hurry up, you know, or, or whatever, to the point where I wouldn't even bother doing it. And uh, just... And I'll just be, you know, having a, having fun with my whomever my friend or friends are. 
Um, yeah, but it's because of my isolation that I've been able to to do this, and and I and I hope I've been inspiring for for um, other people. I, I imagine I will be if I saw um, someone like me um, inspiring. I, I it would make, make me feel good. Yeah, and you're doing it authentically as well. You're doing it through your your food from your fuddy and yes. yeah. It's been cool. So we just had um, lovely Mahi Keita. She's saying, slow our cordial down so people can keep up. So that's that's good. That's good. Kia ora, Mahi Keita. Because <laughs> there's the good thing, uh, Annie, is there's lots of gems in your cordial. So they, oh. they want to hear your cordial. So we're just going to slow our, our pace down. Just like you've slowed your mind down. Yeah. We're going to slow the pace of the cord it all down. All, all right. right. Okay. See, because when you're on this um, live stream, people are commenting, and you can't see that, can you? No, I can't see anything. I'm looking at a, I'm looking at a blank uh, telephone screen, you know, <laughs> cell phone screens. <laughs> you're in between the lemons and the, and the limes and the avocado um, bowl. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> hey, hey, so let's stay on this topic of slowing down. Because mm -hmm. it seems to be something that we're hearing across the world. So what was your process, Annie, while you were at home? How did you get to this place of slowing down your mind? What are some of the things that you did? to help you slow down your mind? Well, it wasn't really hard because I had no one else here revving it up. Or I had no reason to rev it up. I had just, uh, you know, look around the room or look around the home and I'm standing in it alone and there's only me. Mm. So um, for me, um, I, you know, my thinking is, or maybe I could cook something. Maybe I could share it. Maybe, you know, someone's interested in having a look at what they can do with their food, what with their kai while they're under lockdown too. And um, it became a an, – it actually became a project for me. Every day I'd think, now, what am I going to cook today? And I never thought of anything fancy whatsoever. As I said, uh, go down to the rocks and collect the – uh, mussels from the rocks and try and wriggle my toe out there in the ocean and, and, and um, look for tua tua. Um, uh, you know, just being on your own in such beauty, um, it, it was, it, I couldn't help but slow down. And, and as I say, you know, I woke up the day, the very day, the very next day, it was locked down. I woke up and I smelled the roses that I hadn't smelled before. Even in my in my beautiful, luxurious home, I I, I was always, oh, I've got to get up, I've got to cook breakfast, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and I must do this and I must do that. So that when anybody else got up, everything was ready for them. And um, well, that's just the person I've been, and that's the way I was as a kid too. Um, you know, I was reared to to do for people, actually. Mm. My mother was a tyrant. Um, she she was in love with my name. She didn't stop calling it from dawn till dusk. And, um, you know, I thank her because she made me very capable and um, also to be caring and loving. Mm. I, I think I had that. That was within me anyway, that part. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I love seeing people smile and I love seeing people laugh. And I love making people smile and laugh. Yes. You know, I like to be the, the person that makes a person happy. It gives me such joy. It really does. It always has done. Yeah, yeah. So, so Annie, as I'm listening to you, I can really hear the, um, as you say, you, you woke up and you smelt the roses for the first time. In a, yes, yes, that's right. Probably not, not in a long time. Probably for the first time, because as I say, I had no one but myself um, in my picture. 
there was nothing and nothing I could do about it. You're there, my family's in town, that's it. Yeah. That's the most of it. Yeah. So I looked around and I thought, wow. You know, I look out at Little Barrier and I look out at the Hen and Chicks and Goat Island and the beautiful ocean and, you know, I look at it quite differently now. It's sort of, they become very much part of my psyche and, um, you know, for my own self, I feel um, restored mm-hmm. and energised and, um, yeah, I just feel... I feel fantastic, actually. I think lockdown's done a done a, a a lot of good for a lot of people. I know I've talked to one or three people, and they said, "You know what? I hate to say it, but lockdown's been fantastic for me." Mm-hmm. And I, I have to say, it's the same with me as well. Yeah, you, and and I think also, Annie, there, there's there's two sides. Oh, there's many sides of lockdown, and. And what I'm hearing for you is that it's restored you, it's energised you, and you've been able to be you. And that included really slowing down that busy busyness that you had going on. And so you've got a picture now, and it's only you in the picture still in Parkity. Yes. Who else are you going to invite into your picture as you... I suppose as we move through to level one, the no levels, how are you going to well, choose I've who got, comes into your picture? Well, I've, I've got a hardcore or, or, a, or a main core, hardcore main core of friends. Um, and we've hung out together forever. Yeah. And we're always together when we, we can be together. And the thing that we do most of all, apart from loving one another, is we laugh and we sing and we, and, and you know, and, um, and uh, yeah, no, just feeling wonderful. Mm-hmm. My friends make me feel wonderful. They really do. Yeah. And I like to think I do the same to them. I think I do, um, of course. And, um, no, we just hold hands, basically. Yeah. And... And they will be the first ones here. Now, they've got jobs. You know, I feel sorry for a few of my friends, actually. They've lost their jobs in Air New Zealand, for instance. I mean, it's been – and, um, and you know, most of my friends are in the hospitality industry. Yeah. And, and things are, are very tough for them now. It's been tough while it's been locked out, and it's still tough now. So um, I doubt whether I'll be seeing them for a little while. Um, well, you know, it, a little while being a week or six or whatever, but, um, you know, I can always go and visit them if I have to, yeah. which I do. Yeah. And I had my birthday just when I went down um, after lockdown. It was the next day. I mean, I went down and self-maintained myself, you know, hair and um, lashes and toes and things like that. I said to my husband, look, I'm easy to maintain. I only have to do three things and I feel okay again. <laughs> um, and I and it was my birthday. And people say, well, I suppose, who's, were you going out somewhere for dinner? I said, no, no, it's one of your friends cooking for you. And I said, no, no, I always cook. I always cook my um, birthdays. And, and, in fact, if any occasion there is, I always do the cooking. Yes, you do. You do. That's the way I like it. You know, it's, it's inexpensive for them. Um, you know, I and and also that there's nothing like being at home, yeah. enjoying yourself. I mean, you laugh your head off, yeah. and uh, you can you can just be yourself. Whereas in a restaurant, looking sideways, and now of course it's more difficult with the social distancing mm-hmm. and uh, and the um, everything that goes with it, with the COVID thing. That you know, you wonder whether it's um, the wisest thing to do yeah. to go out. Although I do have uh, my friends, I would love to go out and support them, but um, I support them in other ways. They yeah. come around and get the Afi and the Aroha and the Manaki from me. So, and of course, that is shared between us. So, you know, I'm a lucky. I'm lucky. You, I'm are, you are lucky, Annie. But that's because all of the Aroha and all of the laughs and all of the holding of hands that you do with all of your 
you know, with anyone that comes to your whare, both in Auckland and in Pākehā, we know that that love is reciprocated to you. So, uh, yeah. And it is. And it is, and it is. So what are your top tips, Annie, for slowing down? If our wahine are listening, and they are, what are your top tips to get to that place of slowing down and really getting in tune with yourself, your self-worth, your self-value? What are your top tips, Annie? Well, I think obviously you have to love yourself and you have to love yourself and you have to be, you know, um, you have to be fair to yourself. And it's, all, you know, you should just think about yourself for a change mm. instead of thinking about everybody else. Um, you know, you need time for you. And um, and I think, you know, you just need to pamper yourself once somehow or other, however that happens, whether you have a, you know, you go to St. Luke's and get a, a rub of the massage people, I don't know whether you can do that yet, but... You know, if somebody's got their hands on you and they give you a little rub or or something like that, it's rather than you're the one that's doing the rubbing, mm. um, you need to, I think, you need to care more for your own mind, body and spirit and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And what I also got from all of your sharing on your page is that you're really connected to te taiao, so our our environment, our natural environment. Would that be right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. And and doing that, going and getting the, you know, the bees or the or the fish or whatever, what does that give you when you do that? When you actually go and do that with your own hands? Look, I tell you that talk about self-satisfaction. I mean, to come home with a little booty of mussels, you're only allowed 50 per person, but just coming away from the rocks and walking back along the beach, I mean, it's the most beautiful beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the whole wide world, no doubt about it. It's heaven on earth. Um, even with my um, toe, I've only got one good toe, the other, one's, the other one has been diagnosed um, so, um Hang on, thingy, osteoarthritic. Yes. And it was so funny because when I went to have an X-ray, the radi the radiographer said, radiologist said to me, "Oh, what's the matter?" And I, she looked at my toe and she laughed, and I thought, "What are you laughing at?" And she said, "Oh, too much oysters and champagne." <laughs> <laughs> I thought, "Who the hell do you think you are?" But anyway, I have a bad toe on the other toe. And of course, I couldn't dig in the. If you know how to go about digging the tuatua, you got to use your toes, yeah. your, 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 your tootsies to yeah. find them. And um, just you know, you, it might take you an hour and a half just to get a handful. And um, just the satisfaction of doing that, I had nothing to rush me back home for. Yeah. I, I could just stand there in the water, you, don't, you know, at that low tide, and. Um, if I looked up and looked around me, nobody else on the beach. And I just thought, God, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. And here I am also gathering a bit of uh, kai for myself as well, mm. which I shared online for everybody. You did. When I cooked it up. You did. So a combination of what I'm hearing, uh, Annie, is a combination of, you know, taking some time out for yourself. Yes. Yes. Really connect to those, I suppose, those natural things that are around us, whether it be, yes. the, whether it be the sea or the land or kai, and having, you know, having people around you that can help you to laugh and to, to love each other and to hold each other's hands and to, to really reciprocate that. That's your, that's your formula. Is that right? Yeah, that is exactly right. You need people, you need to surround yourself with people that are good for you. That are that um, that inspire you, that praise you, that uh, love you, that manaki you and uh, make you feel fabulous. Yeah. Wow. And I and I've done that for myself. I've got people 
my my friends are all people like that that make me feel fantastic, fabulous. Wow, Annie, that's exactly the cordial that I thought that we would have. I thought we'd have this cordial face to face where I'd get to see you, but we didn't. But you know what, Anne? This mm -hmm. this cordial, even though it's audio from you and they can't see you, I still feel the mana of your cordial. Oh, oh, oh. It's from my heart. It's from my narco. It is from your narco. And so, Annie, what's next? What can people look forward to in, in, in what you've got coming out? What are you thinking? Or are you just sitting and deciding what you might want to do next? Well, you know, I've never been one to think far, too far ahead. I've been lucky that I haven't had to really, I guess. I mean, I've, I'm pretty, you know, I, I um, you know what normally happens for me is that people say, oh, what are you doing next? Um, you know, I don't plan ahead because I hate disappointment. Yeah. I, I don't want to think, right, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then, and then suddenly you're not doing this and you're not doing that because something is stopping you from doing this and that. And I hate the disappointment of it. So it's like, for instance, when people say, what are you doing next? I say, well, you know, I open up my mail and I look at my inbox and something falls into it. Look at that. Or I, or I get a phone call and then I take it from there. Yeah, great, great. So you just, you really just trust that the right things are going to, to drop into your mailbox or turn up? Yeah, I'm not a planner. I don't, I, I, I've got a girlfriend that gets totally irritated with me. Mm. She plans her next step and right, you know, left step, right. And I'm not, I'm not one to do that. She says, I, I can't plan myself. I said, well, that's okay. <laughs> plan yourself because I can't, I know. I don't know what I'm doing right up until the time yeah. sometimes. Yeah. But that's me. That's that's my personality. Yeah, love it. And we love your personality. One day at a time, one step at a time, and everyone else can do the planning around you, eh? <laughs> well, you know, then, well, the, the thing is, I, I, once I know, once I can, once the, the message falls into the inbox, yeah. then I can start planning. Then I can see clearer. Um, my pathway. Mm. I've got a better um, visual then of where I'm, where I could be heading. Yeah, love it, love I'm it. Cool then. Nothing. <laughs> 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 hey, um, Aroha Kayafina is on here, and she said, "Mihi nui e ma champion." I kotahi tirao. One day at a time is her is her comment. Yes, one yeah. day at a time. Yeah, beautiful. You know, one, one movement at a time and, and make sure you're thinking of yourself mainly because you need, we need to look after ourselves. Yeah. Most yeah. important. If we, if we can't look after ourselves, we can't look after others. Kia ora to that, Annie. I love that cordial. And so, and I'm going to leave you in your beautiful fuddy today. Kia um, ora. I'll call you after this so we can have a little cordial, but I just want to um, mihi to you, e hoa, ngā mihi nui ki a koe mō tō kaha tō kōrero. Uh, it was a beautiful kōrero. It didn't happen like we wanted it to, but hey, aha, uh, we still had it. And, you know, I just really wanted to not have you on the screen or, you know, how it freezes at that wrong time on the screen when it just doesn't look good. I thought, no. And, well, it would have done that too. Yeah, and I didn't want that for you, Anne, so I thought let's just do the audio. So what's, yeah, great to have you here. I'm going to let you go and then I'm going to call you. What would you, what's your final words that you'd like to say to everyone that's listening to your cordial? Well, okay, okay, everybody. Um, you know, please stay safe and um, vigilant. Uh, it is important to social distance and keep that up. I'm afraid what we, what's happening, what what happens now is that we've got to learn to live with this virus. Um, I don't think we're going to overcome overcome it. We're going to have to learn to live with it, and learning to live with it is being very very cautious when we're out and about 
even in lockdown one, we we really need to be um, we really need to be uh, oh, what was the word? We need to be vigilant. Yeah, we need to be vigilant and always remember, look after yourself most of all. Yes. Awesome, Annie. I'll call you. Oh, well, stay on the line actually, so we can have a call in. Thank you, everyone, for sharing with the technology, and uh, we will be back next time. We've got a few more coming up. I'll let you know about that on the events page. But ngā mihi nui, kia koutou. Um, ai, kia kaha, kia maia, kia manawa nui. Ka kite. See you soon on the next Real Talk. Ka kite, Annie. Ka kite. There you go.